hi guys welcome back to my new video and today in this video we will learn about the grid layout in css here i have this folder in this folder i have index.html file and a style.css file let me open these files with text editor so this is the html file i have added basic html structures and this one is the css file i have added margin padding and font family i have connected html file with css with this line of code link rel style sheet href and the file name next let's come to the body tag and here first we'll create one div and let's add the class name hero here let me add one more div and i will add the class name box1 and in this div we will add one text so i am using h1 tag and the text is item1 now we will duplicate this one I will duplicate it and I will change the class name box 2, 3, 4 and the title also item 2, 3 and 4. After adding this, open this HTML file with web browser. You can see these text on the web page. Now just come back and we will come to the CSS file. And here we will add the class name box1. For this div we will add the background. This is the color code. Now duplicate this one and change the class name box to add different color. Similarly we will add different color for all 4 divs. This is box 3 and another color code and now we will write box 4 and here also we will add different background color. After adding this, just copy the class name hero, write it here and here we will add div. For all this div, we will add the padding 100 pixel. And let's add the title here, h1. For this one, we will write the color white. Here you can see it is coming like this. Right now it is too big. So we have to reduce the padding. So let me come back and I will change it to 30 pixel. Now it is looking like this. Next we will see the grid properties. So let's come back and copy the class name hero. For this one we will add display grid. And after that I will write grid template rows. auto four times after adding this again refresh the website and you can see there is no changes here i will change it to 200 pixel and after that you can see it is coming like this it will use the 200 pixel height let's come back and i will change it to 150 pixel and the last one also 150 and for this one I will write 250. So you can see it is coming in the same order. First two div is 150 pixel and the last one is 150 and the third one is 250 pixel. Now just come back and instead of this rows I will write columns. Grid template columns and let's add auto here for four times. So the four div will come in the one single row. So it is coming like this there is four different columns if i change the screen size you can see it is responsive now just come back and if i will change it to a value i'll write like this and again refresh the website you can see it is fixed size and the rest of space is blank let's come back and i will again change it And again I will refresh the website you can see first and second div is 200 pixel and the last one is 200 and the third item is 250 pixel but rest of space is empty right now so just come back and in the last one I will write one fraction fr. After adding this you can see the last div is using the entire available space. Now just come back I will add auto so it will also do the same thing. 
you can see there is no changes so let's come back i will again change it as one fraction and in the third one i will write two fraction after making these changes just come back and you can see the first and second item is 200 pixel and the rest of the space is divided in three parts and the item 4 is using one part and item 3 is using two part you can see these items are responsive but the first two is fixed for 200 pixel now let's come back and here i will write repeat and i will write four so it will create four columns and i will write the auto so the column width will be auto if i refresh the page you can see equal width for all the columns now let's come back and if i will change it to 200 pixel you can see all the columns width is 200 pixel and four columns are coming in one row because we have added four let's change it as three and after that you can see three columns in one row and the other div is going into second row let's come back and change it to four and here we will write min max in this min max i'll write the minimum value 300 pixel and the maximum it will be one fraction like this now again i will refresh the website you can see it will use the entire space but if i'll reduce the size it will not go less than 300 pixel if i change it to 200 pixel and if i again refresh the website and change the screen size you can see it will not go less than 200 pixel so we have to make it flexible so let's come back and instead of this 4 i will write auto fit if i write like this and refresh the website you can see it will go up to 200 pixel after that it will shift the column in the next row so you can see it is perfectly responsive right now using this grid we can create a responsive layout easily so let's come back to the html file i will duplicate all these boxes i will change the item name 5 6 7 and 8 i will change the class name also so i will change the class name like uh, box 5 6 7 8 so we have total eight small boxes here now let's come back to the css and here we will add one comma and box five so the box one and five color will be same now here we will add box six here box seven and here we will write box eight so this is how we have added color in all the new boxes you can see total eight items on this web page and if i change the screen size you can see it is changing the layout like this let's come back and uh, here we will remove this one and i will write auto i will write it four times so only four columns will be in one row you can see it is like this next we will add a space between these columns so let's come back and here we will add grid gap and write the value so i will write 10 pixel now you can see 10 pixel of a space between these columns and it is responsive now let's come back and i will copy this class name box one i'll write the first class name here and for this one we will write grid area so in this grid area we will add four values so first let me add the value then i will tell you what it is so i will write two slash one slash and here i will write span two and span three so in the grid area we write the starting position of the row then the starting position of the column then we will write the end of row and end of column you can see i am writing here i will write it as comment row start column start row end and column end 
so these are the four values in grid area so if i refresh the website you can see we have added this grid area in the item one and item one is a starting from the second row and first column and it ends at two row and three column that we have written in the css let's come back and we will change the value and we will see the another example so i will write the different value here here we will add one so the row start will be one here i will add two so the column start will be two span two and span two it means the end column will be two and end row will be two refresh the website and you can see the item one is starting from the second column and first row and end point is two column and two row so this is the grid area so let me remove this one i will remove it from here also and let me remove this grid template first here i will write grid auto columns 200 pixel if i write like this and refresh the website you can see the each column width is 200 pixel and it is coming vertically now instead of this columns i'll write rows like this and now i will refresh the website you can see the column width is 100 percent and the height is 200 pixel and it is coming vertically now just come back and here i will write grid auto flow if you will write the grid auto flow row so you will see all the dips vertically and if i will write grid auto flow column then you will see all the dips horizontally now let's come back and here i will write grid area and i will add one name for this grid area that's it now let's come back to the main class name which is hero and here we will write grid template areas in this grid template areas we will use this name so just copy this one add it here you can see we are writing it in the single quote if i write like this you can see the first item is using two grid because we have added the grid area name in the box one and in the template we are adding grid area two times that's why it is using two space now if i will add one more dot here you can see item one is using two space and after that we have three items because we have added three dots now let's come back and i will write some more examples here so i'll write dot over here remove this dot from the end now you can see the item is starting at second position and its width is around two items now just come back and i will write it in the other line also and we will add one more class name here we will write the box 2 for this box 2 also we will add one grid area and we will add different name for this grid area so let me add the grid area name my area 2 and in this template we will add my area 2 i will add it two times let me add one more dot if i refresh the website you can see item 1 is in the first row and it is using two items place and in the second row at the end you can see the item 2 and it is also using the two item space because we have added these items name two times in the row let me remove these things and i will tell you some easy properties of grid so let's come back to the html file i will remove other div we have only one you can see 
item 1 on this web page let's come back to the css file let's remove the css and here we have only box 1 in this box 1 first we will add the background so i will add this background color code then let's add one height and width for this div and we will add margin auto and color white so the text will be in the white color you can see this text at the corner so we have to move this text in the center so just come back and here in this box one we will add display grid after adding display grid we can add align items center when we will add align items center it will align the content vertically center you can see this title is vertically center next we have to make this text in the center horizontally so just come back and here we will write justify items center after adding this you can see this item is in the center now instead of adding this two line we can write it in the one line also so let me comment it and here we will write place items if we will write this place items center you will find the content in the center of the div you can see it is still in the center so this was all about the grid layout i hope this video will be helpful for you if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section and please like and share this video and also subscribe my channel easy tutorials to watch more videos like this one thank you so much for watching this video